What's up guys, Jeremy here with RC Militia. We got an update for you. Um, what we're going to talk about is about a month off, a little less than a month off, but I wanted to tell you guys now so I can get your opinion on stuff. Um, we're not going to be able to do any running videos with what's coming up because she's pretty much going to be immobilized. So if you guys want to see running videos, the only way I can think to do them is to stick them on, to just stick a couple cameras on a tripod and see what kind of shots I get there or um, stick the GoPro on my head with that little head strap that it comes with because I got the outdoor um, whatever package that, it come, that uh, you can get the GoPro in. Um, so if you guys want to see that, that's cool. Otherwise it's just going to be reviews and stuff like that. Um, if there's any cars that you guys want to review that you know I have that I haven't reviewed, go ahead and tell me, but I'm not going to go out and buy cars to review. <laughs> Ones that I have. I do have a few cars on the way, too. There's going to be some unboxings. I'm getting into helis now, but that's not the update, so babe, take it away. Give them the update. <laughs> um, the update is that August 9th, I... Last time you guys had seen that I had my foot all up in cast and whatever it was in the wheelchair, um, this time I get to replace my left shoulder so that will be exciting they can hear me oh. can you guys hear me okay. am i talking loud enough <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um yeah. so yeah i get to replace my left shoulder so that'll be more titanium even less of ability to float in the pool i sink like a rock with all the metal in me now <laughs> i do floaties um so yeah that's the update she doesn't really have to use floaties no i use noodles to not sink Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> um, so that's the update. August 9th, I'll be having my shoulder, my left shoulder replaced. So it's going to, I mean, I'm going to still try, however it is, that you have to, I'll look like I'm dancing. Well, you'll probably look more funky, be, you look more funky right now than this. you will with the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, I don't know how it is. I've never, you know, I haven't had any of my shoulders replaced, but I'll eventually have to replace the other one, but, you know, only one at a time. So we're going to do this one because I have like a, almond sized piece of my bone that's already broke off and stuff and it's just bone on bone in my shoulder and it's just painful all the time so and I know somebody's gonna ask why does she have to get all this done she has to get all this done because I'm gonna give you a real quick rundown and breakdown she has an autoimmune disease that destroys and attacks the cartilage in her joints mm -hmm. so when it gets bad enough then she has to go in and get surgery because I mean most of her stuff she waits till she's bone on bone she's tough as hell most of the people on the earth could not go through what she goes through, and she doesn't bitch about it. She doesn't complain about it or anything. I mean, she does not let it get her down. Not even when she's out of surgery do you ever see her even, I mean, shed a tear. I mean, you, I went in there for the first time after she got out of surgery when we first got together, and it was just like she was fine, like nothing even freaking happened. So she is one tough-ass chick, and, well, that's one of the reasons I'm, I'm married to her, and she just doesn't bitch and complain about it. She's not one of those people that has the disease and just bitches and complains and complains. She deals the hand that was, uh, she deals with the hand that was dealt to her and, you know, she makes the best out of it. She's definitely a person that lives by that thing, you know, life gives you lemon, make lemonade. She's definitely that kind of person and this, it's, that's just great about her. So that's a quick rundown on why she has to do it. The autoimmune disease is adult stills and it, like I said, it attacks all the cartilage in your bones and it makes everything bone on bone and my your mobility. Show them your shoulder right now. How, how well, this one it. can go. This one can go about to there, but this one. Um, that's as high as you can go. This one is. That's as high as it goes. Like, it doesn't go any higher. I can hear it popping that. and cracking right yeah, now. Yeah, it sounds. It sounds really bad. It sounds really brutal. I mean, but anyway, she waits yeah. as long as she can. Even the doctors are like, that's crazy. I mean, because she waits as long as she possibly can. I mean, she takes an extremely high regimen of painkillers on a daily basis. I mean, she takes stuff. Yeah that, I mean, I've had a rough past, and I've taken a lot of stuff. But it would knock she, out a small horse. Yes. <laughs> it would knock out a small horse. And it, it's crazy, but yeah, it's great. So, I mean, after she's done with the surgeries and stuff, she's going to have to get off the pain meds, and that's going to be a really hard thing to do. That's going to be a different thing we're going to do. I mean, when she, had her, when she had her ankle surgery, I mean, she was, I just couldn't deal with it because I'm a guy that's always on the move, always on the move, always on the move, and I'm, I want to get done things done quick, get to where I'm going quick, yeah. everything quick, very efficient that way, and... So instead of having her walk on her crutches out to the car or something like that, I just throw her over my shoulder and carry her. If we had to go out to the dining room to get some food, throw her over my shoulder and carry her. <laughs> yeah, but he'd smack my head up against the walls like he'd turn. I did do that. And he'd hit me against the walls. But anyway, but, guys, that's that's uh, the rundown of the update. Uh, so like I said, after August 9th, probably Any not going to be... Any of your prayers would be appreciated. Yes. I absolutely cherish them. And every time we get a comment about them, 
about, you know, sending prayers my way, I, it touches my heart. It really, really does. I greatly appreciate it. We both your Yeah, your comments and stuff are amazing. Like, on the last video we did with an update with her, when she had her ankle surgery and stuff, you guys were amazing. I honestly believe, out of every single solitary person on YouTube, and I'm talking to everybody, I probably have the coolest subscribers, and I appreciate you guys so much. I don't, I mean, yeah, there's the occasional troll or something like that, but for the most part, you guys are, are great. I mean, I don't get all kinds of negative comments. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, if you guys don't agree with my opinion or something like that on a card, that, that's fine. I mean, I don't, I don't care if you guys, you know, state your opinion, and this is why you think this is, I don't consider that a negative comment. I'm talking about the guys that are just assholes, but usually... If there's those guys that comment, you guys jump on them before I can yeah, in my videos. So many down thumbs or whatever it is that it yeah. gets blocked. And so that's that just thing. makes our day. Oh, I just want to thank you guys for being amazing subscribers. I, I, I honestly love my subscribers. So we, I love just going through his comments. And sometimes, well, you know, I can't help but, you know, comment back to you guys because you guys are just wonderful people. Yep. I mean, sometimes we'll, like, it'll be such a sweet comment. We'll click on your name or whatever and then go to your page and check out some of your videos like you probably don't even know that we do that but you know we really do we don't always leave messages but we actually do of that a lot when we see and also for those mean comments you know we check out your pages too so are, watch yeah. out <laughs> so but we just we greatly appreciate it i mean yeah. it's like we get paid paid with comments because it's it's well worth it it's amazing yeah. that you guys so the good comments, yeah, the good comments we receive and stuff like that, when you guys give positive feedback, that means so much more than making any amount of yeah. money. I mean, to me, it does, because that's what I did the videos for, was yeah. to hopefully entertain people and get, you know, it's it's nice to make something that other people like, and I mean, it's just very gratifying. But anyway, so that's... Enough all that mushy stuff, stop being Yeah, mushy. enough of that yeah. mushy stuff, that's <laughs> the that's the update. Um, uh, so, like I said, you know... Another update today is Lep's birthday, and I didn't yeah. know if... He didn't really want anybody to know. Trace, that. Trace today, he's, 33. He's 33, so... And I got um, this. My parents were nice enough to get me this, because I, uh, I got another helicopter. I got the Blade MQX, is what I think it's called. It's a quadcopter, and I love that thing. It's badass. You guys should get one. Um, I didn't do an unboxing or anything of it, because I wanted to take it out and play with it right away. And I was up at her house, and I can't upload videos at her house, because her internet is just about I live as, out in the country, it's just about as good as dial-up. It takes like no, days. No, it's to, not. It takes at least a day. It's like... 24 hours to upload a video. It's like five times faster than dial-up. <laughs> five times faster than dial-up. I wouldn't... Don't, don't give that too much credit. But anyway, I'm just going to do a quick unboxing of this. Uh, I'm not going to go over anything, because I don't really know a lot about helis and stuff, but I wanted this to... Uh, it was supposed. It said it was supposed to be one hundred ninety three dollars. Then it's been reduced to one hundred and thirty dollars. So that's the price. He got it from a local hobby shop called B and B Hobby Shop from Spokane, Washington. I buy all so. my. I don't buy any of my RC cars locally um, because they just don't have a good enough selection. But B and B Hobbies have been around for a long time, so I'm gonna buy all my uh, air, oh. my helicopters and planes yeah. from there. They so, have a good uh, selection of that stuff. But anyway, I wanted this one to be able to learn to upgrade because I eventually want to get up to like a T-Rex 5, 500 or 600. See, I don't know much. <laughs> a T-Rex 500 or 600 uh, and then move to collective pitch. I'll probably get the Blade um, 130X after this one. Um, so we'll see how that goes. These are very challenging and very difficult. RC cars are much easier to fly. Or, to fly. RC cars are much easier to drive and get a handle of versus the helicopter, these things are quite, quite don't have, they have quite a learning curve, but that's good, because then I won't buy as many of them. So it's going to be a good aspect of the RC hobby, or the, yeah, RC hobby to get into. So, this is a really long video, and I appreciate if you guys watch this whole thing. I really, really, really do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so you get, uh, I don't know, I just in a good mood today. It was my birthday. I had a great day, so I wanted to share it with you guys, too. Um, so you get the manual and you get a DVD, um, probably some other crap in there, I'm not going to open it up. Uh, you get a charger, it only charges one battery, so I'm probably going to get another charger and a few more batteries. I know you can get a charger for these batteries that do four at a time, I believe. Um, so I'm going to get that. And it can run, oh this runs off of double A's, so that's kind of a not very, that's not, that's not a very efficient charger. Batteries. Oh, it can run off AC power too as well, so that's good, but there's no AC adapter, so that's bad. Uh, so you get the batteries. Eight. 
eight okay. AA batteries, so four for the remote. Uh, this is the ready to fly version, so four for the remote, and um, four for and the down. four for the charger, and you get the uh, remote. These aren't, I mean, the greatest things. When I go to collective pitch, I'm gonna get a DX. Probably, I'm probably gonna go with the DX8 just because I don't want to have to buy another radio. I know the DX8 is amazing, um, at least from what I hear anyway. So you get that. You get a screwdriver and an extra tail rotor blade, um, and that's what's in there. And it looks like some O-rings, I think, for the body, if you lose those. Uh, it comes with the battery. I don't know how much flight time you get or anything. It's a 3.7-volt, 150 mAh battery, 25C. And then, babe. Is that supposed to do that? Yes, it's supposed to do that. Don't look like it's not like the other No, it's not the fixed other ones that <laughs> the other ones that we had. Um, and this, and then it all has individual placing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very close. But anyway, okay, let's get to this. Okay. You so, don't know uh, anything about that. No, I don't know anything about this. So, this is the blade MSRX. Um, it's a helicopter. It goes this way. It goes this way. It goes that way, and that way, and that way. But, but not that way. And not that way, because it's not collective pitch. So that's the extent of all, my knowledge. That's about the extent of my knowledge on a helicopter. I can't really go into the circuit boards or the motors or anything because I don't know anything about them. Um, but everybody starts somewhere, so yeah, you so will start to learn. I'm just kind of telling you what you get. So this is more like an an actual unboxing video because I'm just showing you what's in the box. <laughs> so that's what it is, guys. I'll be getting more um, batteries and stuff for it, and I'll use a uh, mail flash around the house, put the GoPro on my head with that head mount and. Mm -hmm do this some videos like that. Let me guys know if you want to see helicopter videos. Uh, if you want me to get into boats or planes or anything like that, I've thought about that too because I, I don't haven't know. thought about everything. I need to get more. You want to get everything. Well, cars, I've been doing cars for so long. I need to get in further, you know, further into the RC hobby. And well, I, helicopters seem to be They're less expensive. Cheaper than in cars. Planes so. are less expensive. And they probably, I don't know if they break more or anything, but I don't know. I've crashed the quadcopter a thousand times, and that thing keeps on going. Um, thanks to uh, Omen Wolf, uh, his name's Damien, I do believe. He's on the Cooking with Nitro page. He's been on Cooking with Nitro with me before, and he recommended the MQX, and I think he recommended this one, too, and he recommended the 130X. So all his recommendations I'm going with because so far they've been great. I don't understand how this works. What do you mean? Babe, don't do that, please. Well, it just looks like it's broken already. <laughs> no, once it starts spinning, they go to where they're supposed to be. Okay. So, yeah, that's the unboxing and the extremely long video update. So, if you guys... Now you know everything. Yeah, now you guys know everything. I just wanted to get that out there and tell you. And I was in a good mood today, so I decided to make a video. And, and yeah, that's about it. Yay, happy birthday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, babe. All right, so uh, with that... Take it easy, guys, and... Do we do the peace thing anymore? No. I don't know. Take it easy. Leprechaun79 saying peace.